Hey guys, this is MacHeads101, and today I'm going to be showing you how to mask objects in Photoshop. So, right now I have these two images on my desktop, one of lava and one of the earth, and I'm just going to open these both up in Photoshop. Alright, now basically to mask something, a mask just means I want this to be shown here. So, I'm going to hide this layer real quick. Uh, Alright, so I'm going to hide that layer. So if I want to mask, if I just want to display something, like if I want to decide where I can display it, uh, I can make a square right here and make that a mask and then you'll, instead of seeing, uh, if I put a layer, instead of seeing the layer over the whole image, you'll just see where that square is. Alright, if I just draw some junk, um, yeah, you'll just see that scribbles, you'll see whatever image, but in that shape. And so as you can see, it's more faded at some parts of the image. It, um, whatever you'll see, whatever you're, I'm going to mask, you'll see like that. So generally people like masking text, but you can mask in any shape you want. So to make a mask, you want to make sure um, the layer you're masking is not locked. Then you want to make a new layer right under it. I'm going to hide this layer real quick. And you can make anything, you can have anything you want be there. So I could go like that. And if I make that a mask, uh, you just right click on it and you say create clipping mask. That's all you see. So I can put a black background behind that. Right here. And again, that's all you see. So uh, now I'm gonna I'm gonna just real quick remove that. I'm just gonna make a text mask. So, bring that right there. And I'll write Earth. Drag it into the middle. And again, it doesn't matter what color I want it because it will always be, uh, if it's a mask, whatever layer I had behind it. Uh, so I'm going to pick a real wide font so we can see as much as possible, like something like this. No, I don't really like that font. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. All right, and I'm gonna make that about two hundred. No, one fifty, one ten. That's nice. Yeah. Now I'm gonna bring that to the center. Or maybe I think it's wider than the Earth was, so I'm gonna scale that to be just about right. Let me put that over the Earth real quick. Okay, so if you want to check what's going to fit behind it, you can just put it over and then select the layer first, align it exactly where you want it. So now I'm going to see, now I can see everything's going to be part of the world. And so now I just bring it under, go to this layer, right click, and then you say create clipping mask. There you go, you got your earth, and I can just put a layer behind there. I'll make it black. There we go. And uh, if I click on this layer, uh, as you can see, this is a layer and I can move it around and it will just move what's displayed. So I'm going to do that again with lava just so you get an idea of like different effects you can do with this. So I'm going to do this real quick. Double click on this layer. Alright, and I'm going to apply that, put that layer beneath it, and I'm going to create a clipping mask. There we go, we have our mask, and now, now you can put a layer behind there, go like that, I can draw whatever I want. And if I draw on this layer, if I do anything to this layer, it will uh, add it to the mask. So I'm going to remove the mask real quick. 
release clip. So to remove it, you just right click and say release clipping mask. So there we go, we have this layer. Uh, let's see, what can I do to it? Oh, I have an idea. I'm going to erase part of it. There's my erase tool. All right. Let's bring the hardness down and the size down. Bring the size up. And now, if I recreate that clipping mask, as you can see, it gives like a cool effect on the lava. So, yeah, you can do pretty much whatever you want with this, and uh, you don't really have to see what you're doing. You can edit the layer while it's um, being a mask in the mask. You can move what part of the mask you're using. But if you go over, if you don't like mask it completely, you're going to see the original. So try to bring it completely under. Those were just um, a couple different effects you can get by making a mask. Um, you, can, you can play around with it. There's a lot more cool stuff you can do with it. Just know that the basic concept idea is um, anything you see on that layer will be displayed in the other layer, but uh, based on how opaque it is and at what you display, that's the shape that you'll get your first layer. Thanks for watching Mac Kids 101. For more Photoshop tutorials or more computer tutorials, check us out and subscribe. Thanks for watching.